It is the leading non-health related cause of death for children under five. We're talking about drowning. And many times it happens right in the backyard pool. Tonight, you're hearing from one couple who, in the face of tragedy, is telling their own story in hopes of saving other young lives. They sat down with 10 on your side's Jason Marks. At the Lynn Haven Dive Center in Virginia Beach, a swim instructor's work is never ending. You want swimming to be like walking and talking for a toddler. Staying afloat by taking the youngest of young. Here at our program, we start at six months. And teaching them life-saving skills. I wish I could get everyone in. It's so important. When it happens, it is devastating to us. Because on average, 350 kids under the age of five drown in backyard pools every year. All it takes is 20 seconds for a toddler to drown. When you're around water. You know, time's not on your side. Chad and Tasia Adams would love to see every child learn to swim. Our future mission is to help kids get trained to swim. Three years ago, they moved into their Chesapeake home, a perfect place for eight year old Kayla and three year old Liam to grow up. Happy birthday, dear Liam. But one day back in March, Chad was home with the two kids. He was helping Kayla with homework. She had a book report due the next day, and we were working on that in the kitchen. That's when everything changed. 20 seconds is all it takes. Yeah. That's all it takes. Chad realized Liam wasn't around. He um, slipped into the backyard. No more than a minute and a half, two minutes went by. He went searching out back. He was face down. Yeah, he was face down in the pool. He was floating in the pool. Chad, who's a registered nurse, started CPR. He yelled for Kayla to run next door and get help. I remember telling myself in that moment, like, there's no way this is happening. There's no way this is real. I, I will bring him back. I know I will. I just, I know I will. Tasia was just getting home from the gym when she saw rescue crews parked out in front. I was just in complete shock. I didn't know what to do. I just remember panicking. Liam was rushed to the hospital. They said that they did everything they could, but there was nothing else that they could do. Doctors couldn't save his life. It's horrific, you know. I don't think it could possibly get any worse than that. He always had the biggest smile on his face. He's just so full of life. The nightmare now overpowering in this dream home. Go from having a loud, uh, rambunctious toddler in the house to just silence is uh, the most painful part. But it's these parents who are no longer silent, hoping their story can help others. How turning your back for a minute could lead to a life-changing event. It's just an unfortunate situation that you don't wish on anyone. The Adams are hoping to make sure all kids have access to swim lessons, looking to start a nonprofit to help offset the costs. A fence now drapes the Adams pool, a constant reminder. Honestly, being in this house is hard um, because Liam's, Liam's everywhere. Like, his memory is everywhere. And I can just see him there. As it's now the parents who try to stay afloat. I have a lot of guilt that I'm dealing with. Guilt for taking my eyes off for a minute too long. Guilt for not being able to bring him back. Knowing how life can change in the blink of an eye. I don't think that the pain will ever go away can't take anything for granted yeah. enjoy the enjoy the moments while you're in them several swim schools here in Hampton Roads will include lessons for kids as young as six months in addition to lessons in fences swim instructors also warn about kids wearing those floaties in the water they say they create a false sense of security you can see the full interview with Tasia and Chad Adams on wavy.com Jason Marks 10 on your side